G'day and welcome to Leah's Handmade Crafts. This is actually episode 61. We're motoring along, aren't we? Um, just thought I'd hop on and do the 20 questions that everyone seems to be doing. So I've written them down um, so I don't get lost. But I thought I'd have a bit of fun and let you get to know me a little bit better. So... What does your name mean? The name Leah means the weary one or weary cow. It's Hebrew for the weary one or weary cow. And some days I am just that. Where are you from? Australia. My mum is Scottish. My dad is seventh generation Australian on one side and second generation on the other. But... Uh, where I was born here in Australia. So where were you born? In Sydney, Australia. Um, what would your parents have named you were you born a boy? Not sure. If I was born with blonde hair, I'd have been named Danny as they named my younger brother because my mother always dreamt of a blonde haired Daniel. But as I was born with black or brown hair, I don't really know what she'd have named me. I must ask her and find out. What is your biggest accomplishment? Well, other than my two darling children, finishing my degree in counselling was my biggest achievement because I had a lot of curveballs thrown my way and there was a lot of things that kept trying to impact my study and one of them was my pancreatitis. I was three subjects from finishing my degree and three weeks from finishing my degree when I had a massive attack of pancreatitis and had to um, defer. So definitely fi finally finishing my degree despite all of my health issues. What is your eye colour? It's blue-green. And depending on what colour I wear, depends on what colour is more prevalent on each day. On a day where I'm wearing black, it tends to go like a grey colour, but for the most part, it's blue or green. <clears throat> what is your favourite candle scent? Anything with caramel or vanilla in it. Oh, and eucalyptus. Love eucalyptus. Uh, can you cook? I can, but these days I don't do much. What is your star sign? Now, I'm assuming they mean what is your... It just says what is your sign. So I'm assuming that they mean star sign, and if that's the case, it's Pisces. Um, what is good about your life right now? Well, other than, again, Emily and Nicholas, I've not been in hospital so much this year. I've only been in twice. And when you consider that in 2017 I was in 13 times, to have only been in twice this year is a big thing. So that's what's good about my life right now. Um, what scares you about ageing? Going blind or losing my marbles to dementia? I have um, glaucoma and we have a family history of macular degeneration. So the thought of going blind and not being able to read or crochet frightens the hell out of me. And losing my marbles to dementia, as some of my family have done, also frightens me. What is your favourite holiday? Christmas. Love Christmas. What is your guilty pleasure? Jolly Ranchers. Yes, folks, I love Jolly Ranchers. Um, what is your favourite show to binge watch? I have a few. Anything from the Outlander series, The Crown, Chesapeake Shores or Suits. So I do tend to rotate them around a little bit, but I love all of those. What is one thing you can't leave the house without? Well, for me, it's two things. One is my mobile phone because it's got my licence and my cards in the, in the, the wallet. And the other thing is my little bag of medications. I cannot go anywhere without those. If I go anywhere without them, I can't eat or drink because I have to take medication in order to be able to eat and drink and to digest the food. So without those tablets, I'm not able to eat or drink. Uh, are you a night owl or a morning person? I'm a bit of both. 
I'm up at 5 30 6 o'clock every morning to feed the animals and to also have my tablets but because of day napping which I have to do or otherwise I can't get through a day I can sit up a little bit later than 9 p.m. so I'm a bit of both um, what is your favorite genre of movies definitely rom-coms I'm a tragic for a good rom-com throw in a holiday season and I'm an even bigger tragic if that's at all possible what is the last thing you bought nothing too exciting deep heap I had some muscular pain so I had to buy some deep heap uh, are you an introvert or an extrovert definitely an extrovert but as I get older I prefer my own company more and more what is your favorite book I don't have a single favorite book but I do have some favorite series the Anne of Green Gables series the Outlander series the Harry Potter series and anything that Nora Roberts or JD Robb has written give me any of those and I can be lost for days on end so that's my 20 questions how about you try them and see how you go I'm not going to tag anyone I'm just going to add them to the list down below and if you're interested give it a go and we can get to know you a little bit better so until next time keep crocheting keep crafting have fun and god bless